Hey guys, Pete here. This will be my Dark Season 3 Family Trees video. The final season of this Netflix original series answered most of the questions related to the four families at the center of the knot that is Wyndon. But due to the looping nature of some of the family relations, it's a lot to take in and keep track of. In this Dark Season 3 video, I'll be talking about the family connection revelations we got, and that will contain spoilers that would potentially ruin things if you haven't finished the series. For that reason, I wouldn't recommend watching this video until you've completed the entire third season. I do have a family tree video that I'll link to up at the top if you want to get a refresher of who's who while you're watching season 3. Alright then, we did get some major revelations in how things are connected with the families in Dark, and it turns out that Jonas and Marta are the center of it all. Of course, when I say Marta, I'm talking about the one from the alternate world. The Martha from seasons 1 and 2, who Jonas fell in love with only to find out she was his aunt, is dead and makes no further contributions to the family trees. For that reason, I'm not going to say alt every time I say her name. This Marta, the one from the alternate world, is at the center of everything because she conceived a child with Jonas. Since we've all watched the season, I won't retell the story in this video, but in relation to the families, Marta saves Jonas from the apocalypse in his world and brings him to hers. He then meets a slightly younger version of her who doesn't know anything about time travel yet, and they end up sleeping together. She gets pregnant as a result, and that turns out to be the beginning of all the family tree insanity. She gives birth to a character that we've been calling the trio due to the fact that he appears as three characters, three versions of the same character at different points in his life. A boy, an adult, and an old man. This character explains he was never given a name, and is referred to as the unknown in the credits and official show materials. The unknown answers one of the biggest questions we've had. Agnes Nielsen was the farthest point back on the Nielsen family line, and we had no idea who fathered her child. According to the official website, the unknown conceived Tranta in both worlds with Agnes. Tranta then is the father of Ulrich, who is the father of Marta, but also the grandfather of Jonas. It's an infinite cycle, a massive knot with the unknown at the center. On screen, we don't see the unknown and Agnes together, and we never visit the time when she was pregnant with Tranta. The explanation just says that he was conceived in both worlds by the same parents. Another big question we had about Agnes and her brother Noah was who their parents were. Season 3 gives us that answer, and it turns out to be Celia and Bartaj Tiedemann. Bartaj, of course, was Jonas's high school friend that was saved by Stranger Jonas at the end of Season 2. He ended up in 1888 and was eventually killed by younger Noah, who turned out to be his son, in 1921. Celia was taken care of by Elizabeth Doppler in the future until she sent back to 1890 and meets Bartaj. They become a couple and have Noah and Agnes together, with Celia dying while giving birth to their daughter. This is a good time to discuss the differences in how the family tree plays out in Adam's and Ava's worlds. In the official family tree, we can see that many of the relationships still exist, but we don't get to see how they played out in Ava's world. Celia and Bartaj are still Agnes's parents, but we never actually meet Celia in her world. Bartaj follows a much different path through time, but as far as the family trees are concerned, we end up in the same place. Celia's parentage is another example of this. We learn that her parents are Hannah and Aegon. In Adam's world, she traveled back to 1954 and met him there. They have an affair in that time period and she gives birth to Celia after leaving him. Eventually, she travels back in time where Jonas slash Adam kills her and he sends Celia to the future where she grows up until we first meet her in 2052. In Ava's world, it isn't clear when this happens, since Hannah is married to Ulrich in the 2019 timeline, and Aegon is a traveling member of Ava's group Eret Lux. The only time we see them together is when Aegon rescues her from the apocalypse in that world. At that time, Hannah was pregnant with Ulrich's child, but she suffers a miscarriage right as Aegon is arriving. Aegon and his first wife, Doris, are the parents of Claudia Tiedemann. Claudia is the mother of Regina, who gets cancer in both worlds, but we never knew for sure who her father was. Tranta was the most likely candidate because we knew that they had a relationship, but it turns out that Bern Doppler was Regina's father all along. 
This felt somewhat out of the blue since there were no hints to an intimate relationship, but it turns out to be important since it means that Regina is not a direct descendant of the Jonas and Martha line. Regina's husband, Alexander, has a mysterious backstory that fans have long theorized about. He was born Boris Newald and arrived in Vinden with a gunshot wound, carrying the pistol that will travel through time and later be used by Adam to kill Marta from his world. He used that to run off Teen Katarina and Ulrich, who were threatening Regina, and the two form a relationship that sees them get married and give birth to Bartosz. His entrance into the story led to many theories about him being a time traveler, or at least manipulated by one. But in the end, it turns out he was a guy on the run. In Ava's world, he tells his son that he killed a man in Marburg, but it was an accident. He played a role in the apocalypse in both worlds as director of the power plant, but he was just a criminal who went straight after fleeing to Winden and meeting his wife. Speaking of the power plant, Bern Doppler's wife Greta expressed doubt about him being Helga's real father. In a conversation with Noah, she says the boy was not born out of love, leading to speculation that she may have been raped. We don't get a full explanation of the story here, but the family tree does give us a name and confirms that Bern is not Helga's father. The name is Anatol Velev, but there's no information about this character. Helga's son Peter has also been the source of many theories because we only had a vague backstory of him arriving in Winden in 1987. Season 3 explained that Helga is his father, but he didn't know about him until shortly before his mother died. His mother's name was Ulla Schmidt, but we don't have any other details about her life or relationship with Helga. In the end, like Boris Newald, Peter's story turned out to be just what it looked like on the surface. Of course, he does get together with Charlotte in both worlds, and pitches in on the bootstrap paradox relationship between his wife and daughter. That they are each other's mothers was one of the big reveals in season two, and I find it funny looking at the new family tree since it's not even really emphasized. Now that we know the origin, theirs is just one loop out of many. Charlotte's adopted grandfather, H.G. Tanhaus, is a character we learned a lot about in the final season. We learned that his great-grandfather, Heinrich, was the founder of Sigmundus and the origin of the gold pocket watch. Heinrich initially gave the watch as a gift to his wife, Charlotte, who later died. He started Sigmundus to learn how to time travel in order to try to bring her back from the dead. He passes the watch on to his son Gustav, who we meet. He's the blind man who owns the factory where Stranger Jonas is working on the time machine. He was killed by the unknown as he was on his way to tell the world about the time travelers he met, Stranger Jonas and Marta. The unknown takes the watch from him and it starts its journey through time. Gustav Tannhaus's grandson, H.G., is the clockmaker we met in the first two seasons, and he turns out to be the catalyst for everything in a third origin world. I discussed all of this in my Ending Explain video, and we'll probably revisit it in future videos, but in relation to the family trees, the website does have an Easter egg. If you scroll all the way through Jonas or Marta's pages, the origin world's family tree will appear. By default, you just see mirrored versions of the family tree for Adam and Ava's worlds. We learned in the closing scene of the series that some of the characters from the origin world are the same, but none of the characters that are direct descendants of Jonas and Marta through the unknown exist. This origin world family tree shows Claudia and Bernd are married in this world, making Regina's last name Doppler. We get confirmation that Hannah and Torben are married, making her last name Wuller. We can see that in a world without Charlotte, Peter winds up with Bernadette Waller, and that even though Boris Neewald exists, it doesn't look like he ever gets together with Regina. There's other characters that we never saw on screen, these characters' parents, that are in the family tree, but there isn't any additional information about their lives in the origin world. We do see Katarina here, her last name is still Albert's, and that was one other reveal that we got in the third season, that her parents were her Herman and Helene Albert. Of course, we saw her mother kill her. She was the nurse at the psychiatric unit where Ulrich was living out his years. Herman Albert was the man that Egon talked to when the sheep died back in season one. And that pretty much wraps things up. 
As mentioned, the biggest reveal is that all of this starts and essentially ends with Jonas and Marta. On a bigger scale, it starts with H.G. Tanhouse, who, like his great-grandfather, is obsessed with time travel because he wants to go back and save someone who died. We see this theme repeated throughout the different worlds, and in a way it seems quite fitting that Jonas and Marta, who would never have existed in the origin world, are able to complete this process, making for at least a reality where Tanhouse's family never dies and he never decides to invent a time machine. What an absolute mess and not. It does feel great to have all the answers now. There's a couple things there, a couple people we don't know. They never told us who Hannah's mother was or, or Daniel Conwell's wife, but in the end, they didn't turn out to be important. But beyond that, we did get answers to all the big questions. And with that, I think I'll leave it there. Let me know in the comments what you think. Did you catch all of this? Were you able to keep track of it while you were watching season three? Do you have any other questions about the family trees that I didn't cover? I'll be making more dark videos this week, so let me know if you have any ideas in the comments as well. As mentioned, I did put out an ending explained video. You should check that out if you haven't. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll put a link in the description to the official website where all these family trees come from. A lot of your questions can be answered there. They filled in a lot of blanks. I've been going through that for days at this point. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon.